Kenya Moore makes another questionable revelation about her husband, Mark Daly. Nene Leakes' latest Instagram pettiness with Eva Marcel teases major Real Housewives of Atlanta drama, and Andy Cohen sets the record straight about the season 12 RHOA reunion that's apparently going to be filmed virtually. Where we do that at? Woo! We mad! It's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And this is Leftovers, a new series where I talk about trending topics that were not hot enough for a standalone video, but are still worth sharing. Before I get into these stories, I would like to put out a disclaimer. Please do not send any hate to Mark Daly, Kenya Moore, Nene Leakes, Eva Marcel, Andy Cohen, or anyone else mentioned in these stories. And trust me, you're gonna wanna watch this video till the very end. This is his real mad, they big mad. Today's video is sponsored by Philo, which is a live cable app and it's available on multiple devices. Whether you're trying to look at TV on your iPhone, your Android, your tablets, or your TV screens. And I've been using Philo over the last few weeks and I definitely love that it lets you watch over 50 live TV channels. So you can stay up to date on all the BET shows, watch all the love and hip hops, basketball wives, and everything in between. Plus, it gives you unlimited DVR space, all while saving you hundreds of dollars a month on your cable bill. So when my binge watchers use my code by clicking the link in the description box, you don't only get the seven day free trial, but you get 30% off your first month, bringing it down from $20 to just $14. These girls are in for a treat. Thank you so much, Philo, for looking out for me and my wonderful binge watchers by sponsoring this video and making it so fun to stay caught up on all of our favorite shows. Now, speaking of favorite shows, let's get into some things. I just have to say that Team Troll has been through enough this season. With all of this Kenya Moore marriage drama, it's like each week we get front row seats to yet another episode of The Circus and I really just can't. If you watched Sunday night's episode of The Real Housewives of Atlanta, you saw Kenya Moore breaking down again about her tumultuous relationship with Mark Daly, who we thought was her Prince Charming, but he's ended up being such a headache. I've never been separated before, and I lost my friend. And to suffer a loss of that, it's just been very difficult. Y'all, I am just... I am just so, so stressed. Why are you crying? I mean, it's just so stressful because I get it. Most of you guys are so happy to see Kenya going through this because you feel like all of this pain is justified as Kenya's long due karma. Hey, you forgot you talked about everybody's marriage. Portia had an arranged marriage with Cordell, and she was basically hired to be his beer. You've been involved in people's relationship. You talked about people's children. Worry about pimping your daughter out. Still, she'll suck for John Legend tickets. But when it's done to you, it's like, oh, it's off limits. And I'm first to say that yes, Kenya Moore has always entertained us over the years, being the one that we love to hate but I just can't rock with y'all saying that she deserves all of this because I just feel like Kenya Moore is really trying here. And I know how hard I've fought for this marriage. All I was doing is just trying to be everything he wanted me to be and work through everything as best I could to keep my family together. I just can't take it. Like I got my hands over my ears and I don't want to hear nothing else about this troubled relationship. We get it sis, because I can't even be mad at fans for wondering how in the world were you ever okay with not even being allowed to meet Mark's parents in the first place? With one fan tweeting, Kenya wasn't allowed to speak to Mark's parents? Question mark. Girl, you didn't see that as a red flag before you married him? Question mark. WTF? before another Real Housewives of Atlanta fan chimed in saying, how do you marry someone that doesn't allow you to talk to their parents? Question mark, exclamation point. I don't know y'all. All I can say is for all of you guys that are sneaking off to meet at the house of the Lord, even during this stay at home order, 
I'm gonna need y'all to make sure that y'all stand up and ask the congregation to keep Kenya Moore and this clown in your prayers because I am stressed. Only one person on this cast um, doesn't seem to have carried any weight this season. Uh, and I think that's very obvious who that person is. And I don't think that they actually fit in the cast that well. Maybe, and, maybe Miss uh, Eva Marcel. Many people have been asking me about um, what No Storyline Nini has been uh, interviewing about. I don't even know why she's doing interviews. She doesn't have a storyline. But she is. And for some very odd reason, my little bright sunflower comes up in her mouth all the time. No, we ain't friends. We don't talk. I don't know. She's bothered though. She's threatened. And doesn't have edges. <laughs> I don't feel like Eva brings that much to the cast. I'm just being honest. It's really, when you look at a show, like everybody's out of the, the whole cast is away and you don't miss the person at all. It's sort of like, we didn't even know you were here. If you come for me, pack up a good bag, take your vitamin C and whatever else you need as an elder, cause bitch, you got the right one. And I'm not the makeup to break up the TV shows like her and the rest of her Judy's bag hated each other two days ago and now our best friends for checks. I'm not her. I don't have any harsh feelings towards her. It appears that she has harsh feelings towards me. It's just this real mad. They big mad. Uh, it proved it all season long with her sitting in the car with Cynthia riding, rolling her eyes, having all these things to say as if I really did something to her. And if this show was to crash and burn today, Lanethia eulogy would be right after. follow the housewives on Instagram, then you probably got caught in the crossfire when this shady interview that Nene Leakes did got such a harsh reaction from Eva Marcel that gave everyone life. I know it's been a few days, so forgive me if I get my tea mixed up, but I really just wanted to speak on it. <laughs> hey, Candy. Last Wednesday, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Eva Marcel initiated a no makeup challenge calling for her co-stars to join her in washing their faces and showing the world their pores. Good morning, everybody, and happy Wash Up Wednesday. I want to start a new challenge. I'm going to do the full challenge myself. Um, I'm doing a challenge now. It's called the Wash Face Challenge. I would like um, for all of us amazing, fabulous ladies out there to go ahead and wash up that face, moisturize, and be bold enough to say hello to the world. Wash face. No filter, no face tune. Don't hide behind anything but your own beauty. Love it. Now, I actually thought that it was funny that she also invited friends of the show, Tanya Sam and Marlo. And she also invited Snake to join her in on this one. With Nini commenting under Eva's post, it's never a problem for me, exclamation point. Accept it, in all caps. Before Kenya followed up, being one of the first to accept the challenge, commenting, just post it, no filters and no face tune. And I was like, it's petty time, it's petty time. Before we knew it, the girls had started participating in the challenge. Before Nini posted her flawless makeup free, no face tune, unedited, very rich selfie, captioning the post. If you know me, you know I've always been a skin girl, Eva Marcel. Next time, let's show our bodies. And Eva definitely caught that shade, tweeting out, You a skin girl? In what world? Question mark, question mark, question mark. Pure comedy. And I was shook because fans were saying that Eva was being somewhat out of character and they felt like if Eva had kept the same energy on the show, she would have brought a lot more to the Real Housewives of Atlanta. With fans tweeting, they must have told Eva her days were numbered if she didn't get a storyline, LMAFO. <laughs> before another fan said, I'm honestly here for Eva. Y'all really let Nene gash y'all up with her antics. She's been the biggest B and had the most mouth on Real Housewives history. This is her attempt to get everyone on her side to be the HBIC again. And a Nene fan logged into the chat saying, Nene should respond. We don't need Eva back next season, dot, dot, dot. 
this beef is just to secure Peach. Before another Real Housewives of Atlanta fan said, she needs all the clout she can get, especially since it's getting close to the reunion with the eye roll emoji. Yes, and the drama didn't stop there. Candy, Portia, and Cynthia eventually joined the challenge, but it was Eva's response that left me rolling on the floor, laughing my wig off. Hey world, okay, thank you so much for accepting my challenge yesterday, the no makeup, the no filter, the no extra additives challenge. Boom, NeNe then added to the challenge. So not only are we doing what I do, show pores and wear no makeup, but we're also doing a body challenge. Ow. Thanks. Yes, Eva responded to Nini's challenge, captioning her post, Thank you, Nini Leaks, for the body challenge! Exclamation point, exclamation point. I accept. I nominate you to do your own challenge, but make a video. It's harder to autocorrect. In parentheses, and no old pictures with wiggly walls and backgrounds. Happy shooting! <laughs> and Housewives fans had a lot to say, with one fan commenting, Sis got three kids, so she already won. And Nini's arch nemesis, Claudia Jordan, chimed in saying, Petty shade level 1000 and it's hilarious! Exclamation point with the crying laughing face emoji. You look slim and trim, Eva. And you just had that baby! Exclamation point! Fire! But some Housewives fans are not feeling these challenges. Commenting, This is getting real weird, dot dot dot. Make it stop. Yes, I'm like this Housewives fan that said, Baby, this reunion is going to be off the MF and chain, bitch! <laughs> With the crying laughing face emoji and the dead face emoji, and I'm ready! Speaking of reunion drama, y'all know that I have been speculating about this reunion ever since the rumors of it being postponed were going around. And to be honest, I thought that Bravo was going to opt to just cancel this reunion altogether, especially after our stay at home order was extended. And I noticed that Bravo went ahead and announced the new season of The Real Housewives of Potomac and Mary to Medicine LA, allowing them to both snatch up our Sunday night spots for 8 p.m. and 9 p.m. on Bravo starting May 3rd. With that being said, whatever their plans are for this reunion would have had to have been wrapped up and they need to have it ready, you know, actually already air before May 3rd. So with that said, I was so shook. But after Candy spilled the tea about a virtual reunion on Instagram, Andy Cohen came clean about their plans to officially film the reunion remotely. And all I can think is, woo chow, the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi. I mean, I get it, but Andy, <laughs> I feel like we would all rather just wait for a cute midsummer special like Real Housewives of Atlanta presents the quarantine Real Housewives of Atlanta special or something because based off what I see, none of these at home productions have been doing it for me and I just cannot see myself sitting there getting my Real Housewives of Atlanta reunion fix looking at them from the safety of their home over Wi-Fi. Like, I feel like we just sat here this whole season that may or may not have been kinda boring and y'all owe us some smoke. Where is your smoke? Where is it? Andy went on to confirm that the big issue is if they push the reunion back, then the whole show has to get pushed back also. So they're essentially sacrificing the reunion in order to save the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 13. And I guess I'll allow it. Thanks so much for watching these binge worthy leftovers. I had a lot of fun making this video. So if you're excited about more binge worthy content like this, go ahead and click that like button and definitely subscribe to binge worthy for more Real Housewives of Atlanta tea. Thanks again for watching this video and I definitely want to thank Philo one more time for sponsoring this video. So y'all don't forget to click that link in the description box and claim that seven day free trial and that 30% off that I secured just for us. I'll see y'all binge watchers on the next one.